So the dating app known as OkCupid is on some type of far left propaganda spree and I'm going to show you guys the proof but when this woman on a New York City subway saw the proof of this posted all along the subway walls she had enough of it and literally had to tear it down. And before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and thank you to our sponsor, A-Game, the all-natural herbal male solution that promotes strength, energy, vitality, and libido. This is A-Game, fast-acting, long-lasting, with no side effects. Enter discount code YOUNG10 at checkout to get 10% off your next order. Link for A-Game in the description box below. So the dating site known as OkCupid okay has gone full woke in a scary type of way with their political and social agendas that they are now pushing um, along with their dating app. Very weird and they're pushing a lot of these alternative lifestyles and they're publicly displaying a lot of provocative imagery as well as uh, <laughs> giving some horrible advice to the people that unfortunately have to look at that stuff on a subway. And one woman out in New York City couldn't take it anymore. Normalizing, normalizing. Yeah. The next generation. Yeah. I don't know why. No, like no one sees this. No. This is disgusting. Because TV told them not to, not to get uh, not to get upset and wear the mask. We're going over there. Let's go to the back. I mean, serious. And for the record, I do not encourage anyone to engage in any acts of vandalism, any sort of crimes whatsoever. So you never got encouragement from me. But I do understand the sentiment. I do understand wanting to challenge these agendas that are really being rubbed in our faces, jammed down our throats. And I hate to even use that type of verbiage, but that is what's happening with all of these different orientations being put in our faces and they're trying to make what is abnormal into normal. They're trying to do this and there's no shame in what they're doing now. They're blatantly doing this as if we all didn't get here through heterosexual activity. That's the craziest part. We all got here, everybody, including individuals that consider themselves to be one of these alternative sexualities, we all got here through some heterosexual activity. We all got here that way. And I know there's probably gonna be some, some uh, detractor that's gonna say, not me though, I was, a, uh, I was a test tube baby or whatever, whatever. I know that some of y'all, very, very few people are the exception to what I said. But 99.99999% of us, we all got here through 
heterosexual activity between a man and a woman. That's why we're here in the first place. And we don't even see that being blatantly rubbed in our faces the way that these alternative lifestyles are being rubbed in our faces. So I do understand the sentiment of wanting to, uh, to uh, lash out at this sort of thing, at this propaganda, because it is propaganda at this point. And who is this propaganda aimed at primarily? It's always primarily aimed at the younger generation. And I totally agree with her statements when she said that this is an agenda towards the youth. This is a agenda, a political agenda as well by the government, which I do agree with that. But it is also a social agenda of the left. That's the one thing I would add to what she was saying. This is an outright social agenda of the left. And we gotta take a look at some of the other propaganda. So just taking a look on Twitter at some of these other OkCupid okay ads that have been put up on these subways, we can see the far left ideology being expressed in these ads. It's okay to have strong convictions and abandon them for the night, wow. And when, you, and when people have heard me blame the left for the social decay in Western society, in societies across the globe, this is why I do it. They're literally saying it's okay to have strong convictions and abandon them for one night. So this is why I blame the left so much. I blame them. It's okay to have convictions, values, principles that you live by and then throw them out the window for one night of foolishness. And of course they're encouraging, they're encouraging you to be uh, more promiscuous. That's what they're encouraging. It's a damn dating app. So of course that's what they're encouraging. What else would they be referring to? But just to encourage someone to get rid of their convictions even if they weren't encouraging people to you know be reckless sexually it would still be crazy to, to do such a thing because values and principles is something that our society is clearly lacking it's already lacking that and we have okay cupid encouraging that encouraging less values to live by this is why i promote the 10 life values on my channel shout out to dr holman for the 10 life values that I've spoken about previously. And then it goes on to state with some of these other ads, it's okay to not date a, a man who won't vote for a woman. Okay, with the feminist propaganda, no surprise. It's okay to choose to only date someone who's pro-choice. More feminists? And it's okay to choose Mr. Right based on how far he leans left. So when I say far left ideology, far left propaganda, how better of an example is there than what I just read? It's okay to choose Mr. Right based on how far he leads on the left. So you can't say, oh, YMC, you always say that. You just like to blame everything on the left. You just, you just making up stuff. Uh, the proof is right before you. The proof is all over these New York City subways, apparently. So, the far left propaganda campaign seems to be getting ramped up. And as we saw in the previous clip, that woman was not having it. She was getting sick of seeing it. And it's time to, in my belief, balance the scales out a bit as far as what is promoted in society. Because in the mainstream society, far left ideology is the only ideology that it seems to be okay to promote. But based on what societal decay we are seeing today, obviously this is a mistake. But I'm curious what you guys think. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and blessings to you.